Fiscal policy is pretty heavily tested on the AP exam, so you should understand all of the connections. Plus, if you understand how it's all connected, it will make a lot more sense to you. So I'm going to try to walk through what happens when the government um, either uses expansionary or contractionary fiscal policy. If you're asked about expansionary fiscal policy, that means you have to decide between increasing government spending or decreasing taxes. Those are the two policies that, that you would use, and you must list them. You can't just say expansionary. So if we are using, if we are using expansionary fiscal policy, that means that we have a problem in the economy of unemployment. And we can tell that we have unemployment because the equilibrium point of AD and AS is less than long run aggregate supply, which is our full employment line. So what happens, let's say we uh, increase or decrease taxes. If we decrease taxes, consumers have more disposable income. If they have more disposable income, then they're going to consume more and what we see is a rightward shift of aggregate demand. We always shift it to full employment. When aggregate demand increases we can see that price level increases and we can see that output increases. When output increases employment increases. When the government um, uses expansionary fiscal policy. That means they need to borrow money on the loanable funds market so that they can pay for that expansionary policy. This causes real interest rates to increase. When real interest rates increase, the demand for financial capital increases because foreign investors would like to put their money in um, capital financial capital assets where they'll earn a greater return of rate of return on um, on their investment. What we see then is that the demand for the dollar increases because they have to exchange their money for American dollars. When the do dollar demand for the do dollar increases, the dollar appreciates. This means US goods are now more expensive for foreigners to buy and uh, foreign goods are less expensive to America for Americans to buy, so we'll see a decrease in exports and increase in net exports, and so our net uh, our uh, our net exports overall will decrease because exports decrease, imports increase. Um, this eventually will go back and affect aggregate demand, but usually you stop right there. Contractionary fiscal policy would work just the opposite, except now you're going to use the tools of decreasing government spending and increasing personal income taxes. Just so you know, when you decrease spending or increase spending, you're directly shifting aggregate demand to the right. There's no other determinant that's needed. Hopefully this will help you get through fiscal policy.